Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be cutting off the rest of my heat damage plus I'll be doing an update on my no heat challenge. So if you want to know how it's been going for me so far, then just keep on watching. So this is how my hair is looking before and the majority of my heat damage is gone. I just have a few pieces on this side that needs to be cut off but everywhere else is perfectly fine so I will be cutting off those pieces. Now that my heat damage is finally gone, I think my hair looks a whole lot better and I'm just excited to see how it's going to look when it grows out. So in regards to my no heat challenge, honestly that was way easier than I thought. I would say either this month or next month is going to be two years from my no heat challenge. And I've just been doing different things with my hair and trying different products and seeing what works out really good for me. So in regards to styling my hair, the last update that I put up was back in January. And pretty much from January to now, I've just been leaving my hair in a wash and go. And then sometimes I'll just do a protective style and I'll keep my hair back in a bun. And in regards to styling products, the products that have been working really great for me is this oil from OGX it's the coconut miracle oil and this is just very moisturizing and it smells amazing and then another product I absolutely love this and I cannot recommend it enough it's from Maui moisture and this is a strength and anti breakage and this is the agave one and this is basically a hair mask but you can also use it as a leave-in conditioner so I like using it for both but recently I've been using it as a leave-in conditioner it's really moisturizing it's super thick I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the consistency but it is a very thick product as you can see here um, they have a few other ones in the line and I have tried those out as well and like I mentioned I like using it for both so I would definitely recommend trying that out and then another product that I've been using is from Swartzoff and this is from the blonde me range and this is a tone enhancing spray conditioner so this one is a cool blonde and the way that I've been using this in my hair is to refresh my hair and also if I if I have lots of like crunch in my hair from styling it I like to just spray this in my hair about day two or day three and then I'll just scrunch my hair put it back in a bun and I found that this just does a good job at just helping to take away some of that crunch and then another product this is definitely a go-to not a go-to well yeah basically one of my go-to products and my favorites from Eco Styler, this is the Argan Oil Gel, and I recently found out a hack with using this product, and it has been a complete game changer. So definitely stay tuned to that video because honestly, all this time that I've been using Eco Styler and trying to figure out what method works out best for me, I have finally found out a method that works out amazing, and honestly, like I mentioned, it was a game changer. That's what I have in my hair today, and this is a seven day old wash and go and my hair is still defined today is wash day but my hair still looks amazing and honestly it's just the best hack ever so definitely stay tuned for that but overall my journey has been pretty easy in terms of styling my hair and not using heat i did think that i would have used more heat especially in the style that i used to always do which was straightening my bangs and leaving my hair back in a bun so i haven't used heat in my hair in a very long time I would say the last time that I used heat in my hair was when I was doing my braid out. So basically what I would do to help with the stretch it out is I would just 
um, put some heat towards the um, roots and I would just use it on the lowest heat setting and that would just help me to get a little bit more of an elongated look but I haven't done a braid in a while this has been my go-to style so I can't see myself using heat in my hair for a very long time the only thing that I probably will be doing and I might actually be doing this myself or I'll see what I decide is dyeing my hair again so with the hair color that I have in my hair it's more of like a balayage and I have a few phrase phrase well face framing highlights but I do want to add a little bit more color to the back because I find sometimes when my hair is down um, over here as you can see doesn't have as much color so I just want a few more lighter pieces in that area and maybe a few more in the back just so that I have a little bit more color and just a little bit of a different look for summer just a, a brighter look so that's definitely something that I want to be doing but besides that I'm just gonna be taking good care of my hair and trying to drink lots of water and just kind of nurse it back to health because now my hair is pretty healthy of course I do have coloring it in my hair so it's gonna make it a little bit more drier but for the most part my hair looks really great I love how my curls are looking and everything just has been working out good for me in terms of my wash and go that was definitely a struggle before i used to basically style my hair and then after i would not be able to leave it out until like day five or day six so now i've been able to pretty much leave my hair out by day two because i would just stretch it and then after it'll be to the length that i want it to be since i have lots of shrinkage so overall everything has been working out great for me and that's it for my video today i hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section below how your hair journey has been going and that's it i'll talk to you guys later bye